Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines. I'm taking a little smoke break here. Nerio has come down and is helping me get the last little portion of this field done. We'll be done in an hour. The neighbors are harvesting rice. They've they've just about got this field done in the time that it took Nerio and I to do four of these rows. They are a fast moving bunch. Consing and Jen are planting. The uh, I asked them to plant some, uh, the tomatoes we got up there are, are big enough now to plant, plenty big enough, they're about 8 inch plants. And so that's what they're doing right here. Nereo, bring me back some tubing. So, uh, I don't know how many rows of uh, tomatoes we're going to get here. I don't know, three or four. But uh, we're going to plant all the tomatoes we have available. And then uh, eggplant and then corn. And that will, that will uh, complete uh, this field here. Now over here it's going to be onions and peppers uh, I, don't, I don't know we might try some opal squash or implaya again maybe one row of cucumbers over on this side I'm gonna we're gonna try our best to uh, get these last fields done this week because I'm gonna irrigate this Saturday and so I want these fields done and planted. Uh, so that means we got to finish this one, finish this one, and all that dam along that area right there, all along here, has to be raised up about a foot. And so that's going to require uh, quite a bit of digging. We're going to have to clean all the grass off the top of it so that uh, the new dirt will adhere to it without a bunch of gaps in it. So we're moving along. All right, well, there it is. This half of the field is done. And it was the big part. This one here is only probably less than half the area as this one here because it, it goes on down this dam here is a at an angle so I've instructed Nerio to because he'll probably start about 6 30 or 7 in the morning and that's when I'm gonna be having my coffee so I've, I've given him a sample down there so we're gonna clean off this bank and then basically just dig another canal and use that, you know, instead of making a furrow, we're going to add to this dam. It needs to come up six or eight inches. I wonder if there's any water left down here. So the girls are continuing on there. Looks like they're still planting tomatoes. I don't think we're going to get to the beans today. Or not the beans, the uh, peanuts. But that's all right. <sighs> These melons here seem to be doing all right. The runners are actually crossing over the ditches. Now, what we're going to do when they start setting fruit is we're going to we're going to trail the vines along with the furrows. And we'll just move the we'll just move the vines here to keep them out of the 
bottom because the fruit will rot because it's too wet down in there. It looks like they've got in four rows of the tomatoes. I don't know how many more are left up top. We had a lot of tomatoes to plant, I do know that. And there's not, well, there's one swallow. I was going to say there's not a drop of water left. But. Turns out there was three swallows. So because we haven't been irrigating that much, and we don't have a, a lot of biomass in the pond, in pond one, and we've drained the pond a couple times now, so there's not a lot of nutrient buildup in that water. So we came through and fertilized everything yesterday. Everything got a little, just a little dab of fertilizer, just to help it along a little bit. And again, the irrigation on Saturday, it's not going to be, uh, the water's not going to be that nutrient rich. But it'll be a lot more better than nothing. Look at that stand of beans coming up there. So all the poles and the string are set in for those. I think there's eight rows of beans there. Nine, eight or nine. This is more eggplant here. That's all eggplant over there and corn. And I have plenty of eggplant. I'm tuckered out. My back's even hurting. So I'm done. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.